it would be really good to get an update from Rohan about what's been happening in India, particularly because since the election, we've seen quite a lot of policy U-turns um, by the, the Modi government. So w- what are they? Why are they happening? And what's w- what's the impact? Basically, we got one of the questions that people keep asking after Modi had you know, lost the number of seats that he did over the course of this general election was like, what actually changes outside of him, depending on coalition partners? Does anything actually change in terms of governance? And initially, nothing did in the sense that Modi sought to project continuity. He had a cabinet that was nearly identical than the the one that came before, Um, didn't make any mention of the loss and so on, spoke about it as if they were given a renewed mandate to continue forward for the third time. Um, But what we've seen over, especially over the last month, is a number of cases where policies that had been talked about for a while or had been presented in the last month, month and a half, have all had to be taken back, either because of opposition pushback, but more pertinently because of coalitional pushback. Um, I'm referring here to a um, an advertisement that proposed what, what Indians call lateral entry, which means um, bringing in people from the private sector to government on a number of positions, which is very controversial in India because lateral entry hiring allows you to not do affirmative action. There's no affirmative action within it. And so it's sometimes seen as a way to get around social justice concerns, which, which is why it was eventually rolled back. But there was also a... Um, a pension reform that had to be altered because of the opposition seemingly being able to use it as a big selling point to to, to attack the Modi government. There was a big a broadcast bill, a bill that would regulate TV um, broadcast, but also content creators, people who talk about politics online and all, which was seen as quite um, a crackdown on civil rights and free speech that got some pushback that's now sort of been sent to a panel rather than being passed. Um, so you've had a, a number of things, partic- and, and, and finally a, a change that would see more taxation of the middle class on long-term capital gains that was brought about in, um, it's called indexation and the loss of indexation benefits. We don't have to get into the details, but we talked a little bit about the, why the middle class was annoyed with Modi, um, and this has also been rolled back. The The specifics may not be that important for those following from afar, but the fact that they've had to pull back, where in the past, the Modi government has taken a lot of, um, set a lot of store by sticking with their policies, despite um, anger in the streets, anger from uh, from the opposition, um, suggests something is quite different here, and that they're nervous about their own policies, that, that despite attempting to show continuity, uh, there's a clear sense that something has shifted. Now, how much there's bending and what will break, that, that remains to be seen. There's elections around the corner and two, in a few big states. Um, so we'll, we'll see whether it's just connected to some of that. But yeah, it's a clear sense of something different in Modi's third term. And so, yeah, that's something we, we can um, point to and, and see how it plays out. 